What if the Odyssey Man Audible American? Um, obviously. You know, I came to a realization. I mean, this is it's more of an odd, what do you call it? Um, is, can you say a rhetorical realization? <laughs> Why are there so many obese people in the West? I mean, obviously it has to do with our diet and we eat too much food. But I don't think, I mean, we have people who calorie count, but I don't think people realize how few actual calories in terms of carbohydrates we really need in our diet. And Ramadan always brings this to my attention. And so this is going to be something that I try and maintain after Ramadan. I literally eat less during Ramadan than prior to Ramadan. I mean, I only eat two times a day. I eat uh, mornings and evenings. I simply can't fit more into my stomach in the mornings, you know, and evenings is the same thing. Despite being hungry, you know, I'm working, I'm doing semi-physical labor, you know, throughout Ramadan. I don't really work hard. You know, I do, I do do work. But my diet consists of mornings, my carbohydrates. So I'll have oats mixed with fruit, a little bit of honey, and some tea. Slightly, very lightly sweetened because, you know, you put sweetened tea on top of honey with oats and fruits. It's just, it's a, it's a huge sugar bomb for your system to defuse, you know, uh, and I'm 48, uh, and, you know, I'm not trying to catch diabetes. You know, I've been doing well my whole life, don't have anything like that, and I, I'm not trying to catch it now. So that's a massive sugar bomb for your body to diffuse, you know, um, can cause your insulin levels to spike and all that type of stuff. I'm not a dietitian, guys. But anyway, so I'll drink and eat that in the morning, you know, as my carbohydrates for the day. And throughout the day, I actually feel satiated. I feel that you know, I have a lot of energy. I mean, I have a lot of energy. And then evenings, I come home and I eat steak with tuna fish salad, uh, you know, two sources of protein, or it'll be chicken and tuna fish salad, and it's regular salad, and afterwards, I'll have some mango, you know, and then I'll drink, I'll actually drink, like, something like, it's like a soda drink here they have in Germany, but it's not, like, high sugar, it's like a lot of people who are used to Coca-Cola or something, if they drink it, they'd be like, ooh, this is disgusting, you know, but if you have a low-sugar diet, then it seems very sweet. You know, and to me it seems very sweet, but to a person who's you know eating candy, drinking cokes, whatever else, it's gonna it's gonna seem like very like Ugh, it's disgusting. It's like why does it it got you know a lot of flavor and very little sugar to it? But to me it's like you know it's like whoa, dude. So anyway, and with that diet that I'm doing in Ramadan, this is only two days, but I mean it's, every year it's pretty much the same. It doesn't really change. I mean I feel perfectly fine. I actually in these two days I feel so much better. Then when I normally eat, like, you know, I'll eat mornings, uh, very, very lightly in the mornings. I'll have my lunch, and then I'll come home and I'll have dinner in the evening. And, I mean, I feel so much better, so much lighter, you know, right now. It's just it's crazy, dude. But when I think about the average person, I'm looking at my coworkers, you know, and they're eating and just eating and eating and eating. I mean, they're eating trash and eating candy. Then they're eating, like, uh, poultry. Uh, poultry is like, um, what is it called in English? It's bread basically it's bread you know germans are bread people man and they're eating bread and they're eating this and then at lunch they're having pizza and kebab and they're having that and then they talk about what they eat in the evening and i'm just like dude how are you yeah and then they're always talking about their gas problems to top it off i'm like you, you seen how much food you're stuffing in your gut <laughs> i don't think we were meant for that it's probably why we have like a bunch of stinky old farties at my job too it's like so anyway that's not the point it's just you feel better and you look better when you eat less and you really don't need to eat as much as you do i think it's out of boredom a lot of times myself included you know i mean when i'm typing or whatever else or i'm working i'll sit down and i'll just you know i'll start snacking on some fruit, usually fruit i don't eat junk food but even that even though you don't ever see a person get overweight or become overweight from eating fruit it's simply eating too much and uh, so this is going to be something I'm going to try and maintain after Ramadan, inshallah. Just like, you know, two meals a day and see if I can pull it off. Or I'll skip breakfast probably and then go straight to lunch and then dinner. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. What's your guys' experience? Let me know what you, you know, if you guys, if you feel any changes. I'm more tired because, you know, you wake up and then you go back to sleep after eating, you know, and everything and doing, doing your morning routine for, for, for Ramadan. But otherwise, my body feels amazing amazing in these two days dude dudes so i don't know let me know what you guys go through if you
you guys go through any sort of particular change or whatnot. This happens to me every year. And I, I talked about in the previous video how I don't have the headaches because I don't drink coffee anymore. So, I mean, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go.